Hello, HD, um, and a belated welcome to GRA 220. This will be some video feedback for you on your Milestone 1, which is the uh, print ad. Uh, we've got four weeks left. If you need any uh, help or have any questions, you know, don't hesitate to uh, text me or, or call. Uh, my number is uh, posted in the announcements, usually. And um, I bid you uh, much optimism and... Um, joy, I guess, as hopefully you know, the pandemic uh, eases up. Uh, let's see, that's Sutton's here. Okay, HD, um, I see that you have some screenshots of the tools that you are using, and then you have uh, the image, which presumably is the background image with your mask. I guess the file I'm most interested in um, is, let's see, what have you included was this an AI file? Yes, it was a PDF. Okay, so I'm going to look at this first, and let me pull it out of here. I'll put it back here. All right, so that way we can see it in its entirety here. Uh, I like these details. I like this little band of pattern, which is presumably the roof um, of the spa. And, you know, perhaps you could do something similar down at the bottom. Uh, be careful about, you know, running type so close to the edge. This is a magazine ad that will be trimmed, and so this would most certainly get lopped off while it already is. Um, I'm looking at this in Chrome. These are okay, but, you know, the, the type could sit more comfortably in them. Perhaps they should be ovals rather than circles. That's, you know, it's a difficult thing to do. Um, and you know you could you could vary the transparency of these uh, to make them a little more neutral. Also, you know if you're they're slightly different sizes the circles, maybe you could um, expand on that. So contrast to scale is something to consider. Um, I'm glad that you had the type you know flush left rag right, but here it has to be centered. There's some visual tension when the type comes so close to the edge of a uh, circle or or even a rectangle, certainly. I'm wondering if, um, is this a redesign of the logo? I like it, but I'm curious to know what the context of it is. HD, I see that your file structure is great, uh, and I can turn things on or off at will. Now, when I was talking about uh, changing this, you know, varying the scale, and perhaps the opacity, uh, here's what I meant, you know, having something large against something small. Um, opacity is a simple correction to make. You have to open up the um, properties dialog box. It looks like you know already know how to do that. My suggestion would be to you know to lower it so that you get more of the background and it's a subtler effect. <clears throat> you could also put a, a feathered stroke on it to you know to knock it back. But I think that is subtler, and uh, some of the awkwardness of the type coming close to the edge is resolved uh, when you do something like this. Think about aligning, uh, <clears throat> even though it's you know in a circle, thinking about aligning the type with uh, these implied vertical axes down this way. Good job. Um, <clears throat> I think you've got admirable uh, ingredients. Um, here's you know that decorative border at the top could be reflected here. Magazines get trimmed, you know, as I said, so you don't want to have anything <coughs> uh, valuable, any valuable information come too close uh, to the edge. And I think the contact information could be much smaller and perhaps on a single line. So think about that. <coughs> um, you know, as always, you know, follow your own sensibilities. These are just suggestions. I look forward to seeing how you apply this in the uh, web banner.